All right, today we got a PlayStation 5 here. A customer states that there's no power, powers up for a second, and the fan spins briefly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at that. So another dead PS5. All right, now I'm gonna hit the power button. Get a blue light for a second, and then it shuts off, okay? Try again. Yep, brief second. Let's check and see the fan spin. We want to see fan spin. Alright, now I'm going to hit power. Yep. Alright. Yeah, so it's a one second blue light of death. So the one second blue lights that's usually like a short on the motherboard somewhere so I don't believe it's going to be power supply but we'll check the power supply first so you hear the fan spin up for a second and everything so let's take this apart and see if we can find what's wrong with it We could bring this uh, PlayStation 5 back to life. And we're going to test and see if we have voltage out of here. Voltage mode. Alright, so yeah. There we go, we got our 12 volts. So we got a good power supply. So we know that's not going to be the issue there. On the positive here, so a red probe on ground. No, we don't. All those pins look decent. And I'm just gonna look at the port inside. Looks fine. Okay, no short there. Come over here on this side of the coil. Uh, Scotty, I think we have a problem. That's shorted. Oh yeah, that's not supposed to be shorter. Let's check this side. There's no short over there, so... Obviously that's ground. Okay, we don't have a short there. Yeah, if this was shorted right here, then this side would be shorted. It's not. That side is shorted. Right, right. Alright, so we got a short there. So yeah, we have our short on this side of the coil. We don't have a short on this side. So the only thing that's going here is this coil and over here. Oh, I think I spotted the problem. So yeah, look what I see. I'll give you guys a second if you guys can see it. You guys see that? Can you guys spot the problem? Problem is, this capacitor right here. And it looked like it blew its guts out too. A couple cent component, stopping $500 system. Now, if you can look, it, it looks like it just kind of shot its guts out here on the side. See how that just flaked off? We 
you can see inside the capacitor. Wow. That's crazy. Alright, what we're going to do is remove that capacitor. Alright, so I'm going to come in with tweezers and hot air. We can remove that. One stinking capacitor. Alright, we got that capacitor off. Let's test it real quick. Drop this guy down here and grab him. Which I'm pretty sure he is. There you go. Couple cent part. That is a dead short. Zero, zero, zero. So we're going to take this guy off, get a reading on him. I don't believe I have any donor, donor boards for this one. I didn't take readings on this one before. So it's a 22 UF capacitor. So it's going to be one of these guys right here we could take. All right, we're gonna test the value of this guy. Just to make sure. The board is up. Yep, 23, 22. It's hot, so popping up a little higher. I'm gonna take that guy. Move them to our other board. The customer's board. And we're going to drop our guy over here. Here. 
Yeah, we didn't check to see if our shorts gone, but. All right, I'm gonna come in with some rapid clean technology. Come in with a little heat. I just don't want to leave no fluff there in that area. Alright, there we go. So we don't got a short. We got normal readings. So we had a short on that side. Obviously from this capacitor right here. The other side's ground. So that capacitor was pulling this line down to ground which we don't have a short no more. Staying on. There we go. Obviously we don't have fan spin because I don't have the fan hooked up. Let's go to a white light. Just thinking about it. There we go. White light. Another PlayStation, back from the dead. Nice. All right, here we go. Do we get video? Obviously we're gonna get a constant power. Go to white light and get a video. There we go, it's powered up. Right with controller. Oh, they got a disc in there. There we go. We got a picture. Woohoo! Working PlayStation. So yet another PlayStation dead from a capacitor, couple cent part, like one tenth of a grain of a rice, size of a rice. There we go. So we got video, we got picture, we got a working PlayStation 5 here again, not going to landfill. So lucky just testing the, the rail system there, we saw we had a short on one side of the coil there. And it wasn't the MOSFET, but we looked and I was able to see that there was a cracked capacitor, which we didn't have to use a thermal camera or nothing. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys get a chance, give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button if you guys want to watch more videos. And as always, thanks for watching.